After a long day, many of us just want to crawl under the covers, turn on the TV, and fall into a sweet, dream-filled slumber. But getting the seven to nine hours of sleep doctors recommend can be a nightmare for some. In a study released today, 43% of adults reported they rarely get a good night's sleep during the week, while 60% complained of sleep problems, like waking up in the middle of the night. Not getting good quality sleep has serious consequences to your daytime energy and your health. So what's behind all of the tossing and turning? Turns out the technology designed to make living easier makes sleeping harder. Now here in my bedroom, on any given night, you'll find at least seven different electronic devices lighting up the place. That's two laptops, my TV, DVR, stereo, alarm clock, and of course, my Blackberry. And I'm not alone. 95% of the study's respondents said they use some type of electronic device within one hour of bedtime. That exposure to light-emitting gadgets suppresses the release of melatonin, a hormone that promotes sleep. But turning off the TV may not be enough. All of those LED lights in our bedrooms could have the same effect. That's not what you want in your bedroom at night. Gadgets like TVs, cell phones, iPads, which all emanate daylight spectrum light, are things that are going to keep us up. So we conducted an unscientific experiment over two nights. The first night, I'll follow my normal routine of watching TV in bed with my computer on my lap and Blackberry nearby. Now, once I do close my eyes, it's evident my sleep is pretty restless. Over the course of the night, I toss and turn a staggering 18 times. Last night was pretty typical for me. Got in bed at 11.30, watched TV, didn't fall asleep till about 1.30. Got about six and a half hours of sleep or so. So like every morning, I'm feeling pretty exhausted. When we go to bed, we have to get good sleep, which means a bedroom that's quiet, dark, and cool. Any light tends to wake us up. The next night, I'm following doctor's orders, turning off the TV and computer, and covering up every single light in my room. And all of those electronic devices, gone. Okay, so everything has been covered up. As soon as I turn this light off, I'll be surrounded by complete darkness. I fall asleep faster than ever, and tonight I toss and turn only seven times. That's 11 times fewer than the night before. Since I didn't watch any TV, I pretty much hit the pillow, fell right to sleep, and now I feel good. I don't feel the need to have to go back to sleep like I normally do. Our little experiment has convinced me that turning off those electronics before bed is the perfect prescription for better sleep.